hello everybody and welcome back to my channel obviously we are starting off this next video in my car again because i'm actually parked outside of a michael's you guys guessed it i actually got another five dollar off coupon so i get to redeem some rewards right now and i kind of want to do the same kind of process that i had before where i try to find one skein that's five dollars or less and try to complete some type of project in one day's time using this one skein so i want to see what this new michaels has in store for me and let's go see what we can find got some recycled yarn from Loops and Thread. This is their Eco Cozy Recycled Polyester Yarn. Ooh, and it's only $4. That might be a way to go. Huge selection. So far, everything looks pretty much the same as like what I have at my standard Michaels. Holy moly. There's actually a ton of yarn at this new Michaels. I'm not too sure if it's all the same stuff that I've seen before. But I'm going to take a really good look around because I really want to use something that's new to me, something that I've never picked out before. So I need to check. Ooh, I have seen this Loops and Thread cotton cream yarn before, but I don't think it's on sale and currently I believe it's like $8.99 for one skein. So like I said, I really want to try to find a yarn that's $5. I want this yarn to be free for me. I don't really want to spend any extra money than I need to. But I might go back to that one in case I can't find anything. Super, super soft or all right guys I just got out of Michael's and I wanted to share my little bit of savings story with you guys so so I tried to show you guys the different types of yarn that I was kind of trying to choose between but I think I ended up obviously settling with this yarn this is the loops and thread baby rainbow yarn i've never really seen this or heard of this before so this skein of yarn was originally marked at 5.99 but because the cashier was super nice she let me like stack my coupons i actually saved about 30 cents and i got this entire skein or ball of yarn for free so at this point we can go ahead head back home and i'm sure in a few days time i'm going to start working on this project this is actually a 100 percent polyester type of yarn it is marked at a number four worsted weight yarn but i want to say this is kind of like at most a light dk number three type of yarn i'll tap back in with you guys in a few days time and show you guys the progress on my one skein one day project thank you for tuning in to this video and like going on my yarn shopping journey all right your girl is back i'm ready to start working on this one skein one day project but anyways the yarn that i'm going to be using for today's one skein one day project is this loops and thread baby rainbow yarn but they do recommend knitting with five millimeter knitting needles so that's what i'm going to be doing today i'm going to be knitting up with this baby rainbow yarn now again because i only have one skein of this I really want to start making everyday usable types of items and I'm thinking I'm going to be making a very simple and basic knitted bralette that I can wear under t-shirts, I can wear at nighttime around the house, maybe even something that you can wear to the beach, but I do want this to have a negative ease because I want to stretch into this. I don't want it to be too baggy, but like I said, if you guys are wondering how I make my garments fit me so well, I do like to use this little swatch gauge here on the back of the yarn that kind of tells you your inches per stitches and like i said because i want this bralette to have a negative ease to it i'm doing my best calculation to figure out how many stitches to cast on
All right, so I've spent about an hour, hour and a half so far working on this bralette and I just wanted to catch you guys up and show you what I've completed in this time. So essentially I'm working with a ribbing technique here for the bottom of the bralette. I'm just doing a knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, over and over and over again in the round. And in case I didn't mention earlier, I think I cast it on about 106 stitches or so, just kind of based on that little pamphlet. I did the math and I think that's going to get me that negative ease for this little bra top. I think I only have about six or seven rows worked up. And once I get maybe another half an inch or so, maybe once I reach like 10 rows, I'm going to switch up from the ribbing and transition into just the stockinette stitch. So because I'm working in the round, I'm just going to be working the knit stitch over and over and over. And I'll kind of check back in with you guys, show you what it looks like. Very simple, very basic technique. So I do want to quickly talk about this baby rainbow yarn. It is extremely buttery soft. I really love the texture and the feel of this yarn. But one thing I do want to know is when I was originally casting on stitches, this thing split like a mother, okay? It was coming apart. And I wanna say every third or fourth stitch that I tried to cast on, it would just split on me. So that is one thing that you have to take into account when it comes to using this yarn. It does feel really, really great. But again, I think this looks like, I've actually never really seen this with a yarn before. This is actually like a seven ply yarn. Am I counting that right? That's kind of crazy. But again, you know, it's just kind of wound up. So it's supposed to be just one strand. But when it comes to working just the regular stitches like this ribbing right here, I haven't had any issues so far with splitting. So it's really just kind of that cast on that gave me that issue. I like it so far. Highly recommend the baby rainbow yarn. Give me a little jog or something. <laughs> To be honest with you guys it's been a rough couple of days i haven't been feeling too well i actually feel i don't feel myself i feel very off i feel like i might be i don't know getting sick or i don't know if i'm just tired i've been traveling a lot so my head is like all over the place i just feel i feel in shambles right now i haven't gotten too much progress done on my bralette but i did want to show you what i have done so far so again i know she doesn't look like too much but the basis of what I have gotten done so far is, as you guys saw in those earlier clips, I did cast off my back stitches from my front stitches. So I pretty much just chopped half of that stitch count in half and transferred them onto some scrap yarn. So as you guys can tell, I have been working on the front half of the bralette. I wanted to try kind of like this new style with the front. I know you guys have probably seen bralettes that have more of like that standard V cut where it's just like two triangles in the front. But honestly, I kind of, 
I don't know if I don't think I'm the biggest fan of that B cut like that I kind of like those bralettes that have a little bit more of like a scoop neck to them so there is a little bit more of like a slope going on instead of just straight up triangles in the front so that is what I've been attempting here on this front side of the bralette and I don't know if you guys can tell but there is definitely a slope going on there so I did finish up the first triangle if you will here and this is what I have worked up I do like the shape of it honestly I do want to give this another go I am thinking of actually turning this into an actual DIY so stay tuned for that I actually want to make like a knitting tutorial you know with all the instructions and everything on how to actually do this I just wanted to make sure I tested out the pattern first and honestly so far I am loving it there are a few things I'm going to change so this is what that sloped neckline is looking like so when I got to the middle portion of my bra I did make sure to cast off about 10 stitches that way you're leaving more of like this flat neckline right there so there are certain sections where I actually knit two together two times on some rows and then some rows where I just knit two together once at the end of my row so yeah not too bad again for the shape I am going to go ahead now and finish up my other triangle and honestly now that I'm sitting here making this it just occurred to me that I don't think I've put out like a crochet basics bralette tutorial I've done a lot of like cups and stuff but I don't think I've ever done like a simple ribbed band with like the V neckline or even with that sloped neckline with crochet. And honestly, if I was crocheting, I would have been done with this probably the day I started. I am liking it so far. Again, this stuff is so, so soft. I can't wait to put it on. I feel like this is gonna be the perfect item to wear just lounging around the house. And have you guys freaking noticed? My hair is already growing. Do you guys see how much longer it is already? I need to get it cut already. These are the struggles of having short hair, but I do love it and I'm gonna keep it. I stand the short hair. <laughs> All right, I'm back. And as you guys can hopefully tell, I've pretty much finished up this bralette. So I've got my two little triangle cups, if you will, but again, I have that little crew neck slant here on the front edge. And as for the backside of this bralette, I didn't think I wanted to add it too much more to the backing. So honestly, I just put my stitches back onto my needles and just casted them off. So it does have a little bit of this rolled hem here, which I'm okay with. I kind of like that. It looks a little bit more natural. So again, there's nothing crazy going on. It's really just a plain rectangle here on the back edge. And here is my front edge. So the very last steps I wanted to talk about with you guys is I want to make some eye cords with my crochet hook to use as the straps of this bralette. So I've already gone ahead and worked up one. So here she is, ta-da, super cute. I still need to attach her, but I figured on screen here, I would just go ahead and work the next eye cord. And I believe because I want my eye cord to be as tight as possible, I think I am going to be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. So here she is, nice and tiny, 3.5. In case you guys don't know how to work an eye cord, it's very, very basic. I'm actually going to pull out a ton of string so kind of think of it like you're doing a long tail cast on but you're gonna need a lot and I mean a lot you want to make sure that you don't run out because the i-cord does eat up a lot of yarn so I'm just gonna cast on no I'm not gonna cast on I'm just going to create my little slip knot and slip my hook through so now at this point in order to create your eye cord it's just a matter of how you wrap your yarn around your hook but again kind of think of this like a long tail cast on so it's going to be a little bit hard to show you guys this way but what i'm going to do is i'm going to be using both of these strands so i'm going to take one strand and i'm going to loop my hook under and over the yarn so you guys can see i kind of like wrapped the yarn around my hook and now I'm gonna take the other strand that I didn't use and wrap it over top of my hook. So you should have both of those strands sitting on your hook and just go ahead and pull it through. So there is my first little eye cord. Again, I'm gonna take that first strand, bring my hook under and over, just wrapping it reverse 
and then wrap the second yarn normally. So again, I've got my two little strands sitting there and pull through. And then now you've got your little eye cord working up right there. So I'm just gonna be working on this. I'm gonna finish this up nice and fast, attach my little straps to my bralette and show you guys the finished project. All right, y'all, bear with me. This is the final knit bralette. I actually really, really like how it turned out. And as you guys can probably tell, there are a few like little adjustments that I need to make to this in order for it to be like perfect to my standards. But I've just kind of paired it with some, it's just like an active mini skirt. I just kind of wear this around the house or even like to the gym and a cardigan. But this is exactly like the vibe I was going for, okay? Some loungewear for the home. And let me tell you guys, this is so incredibly comfortable on the skin. I highly do recommend this baby rainbow yarn. I know a lot of you guys aren't like the biggest fans of like synthetic fibers, but I think you should splurge for this, especially because it's just so, so affordable. So again, here is the front side and here is the back of the bralette. So like I said, it's just a basic rectangle. It's just flat in the back. But hey, you know what? So this is what I meant by the front of the bralette is like a little bit more sloped than it is straight up like 45 degree triangles. So here she is. As you guys can tell, I should have made this bralette a little bit taller. That way this ribbed band is resting more so underneath my chest. And then I should have added a few more rows um, of just like that stockinette stitch before I cast it off those 10 stitches across the top of the chest but you know what hey for the first time and not really making a swatch gauge i think it turned out really really great so i'm liking it so yeah if you guys are interested in seeing this being turned into a, like an actual tutorial i think i'm going to remake my knitted bralette tutorial i just really love the shape of this so much better but here she is this is my loungewear at home little bralette you could also you know wear this to the beach i'm loving it i love how it looks let me know your guys's thoughts on this i feel a little bit exposed so i'm just going to throw my little cardigan back on but this is like the little fit this is exactly what i was going for so yeah leave me some love down below i hope you guys like this little knit with me one skein one day project in case you guys are wondering i probably spent about seven six or seven hours working on this bralette thank you guys so much for watching i hope you really enjoy this leave me some comments down below on what you guys want to see me make next here she is i'm actually really really proud of this this is going to be my new loungewear at home outfit um yeah i'll see you guys later love you guys so so much and don't forget the chain two does not count as a stitch bye